Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. My name is Bill Qala Wal Mustafa. I am a full stack software developer. I build with uh, Node.js backend and JavaScript front end and I've got some experience with Angular. I made a decision last year and it was amazing that I realized on the you know February this year and uh, I feel that I should make a video. Yeah, the title of the video is that you not jump on the bandwagon. You know the meaning is that you know do something because other people are doing it and the origin you know goes back to uh, the 18th century in the US when politicians would put out uh, a bandwagon whenever they are going on a parade or a rally and with a lot of musicians on the bandwagon and a lot of people join them on the street they never plan for it they just feel uh, these are musicians that we love and they join them just like that and that's it so do not be like that you not be like a person who just do something because it's popular because it's everywhere that's the normal of the society you shouldn't do that so you should think take your time to think about it and um, so last year I you know there are so many questions to, to, to ask that why do we go to school and before that it's so easy to feel like I'm an educated man, uh, I'm an, ed an, an educated sister, I'm not a blind follower. Well, let me put out this question to you. Before you got to the university, where you are right now, or you're a graduate, or any higher learning institution that you are right now, uh, did you give it a second thought? Did you like feel that you had a couple of other options and you try to juxtapose them, you spent hours of rumination to know that which is the best decision for me. Then eventually you arrived at, you know, going to university is the best option. If you never did that, that it was, you just had to, you, you just followed suit. That means, I'm sorry, you're a victim of jumping on the bandwagon. So a lot of people do not do that. You, it's years after, maybe uh, after having got to university that we realized that, oh, I need to think about what's the next thing after g getting out of here, what, you know, so, and some people even regret that uh, how, uh, if I had known, I would have, uh, you know, settled for something else, okay. Okay, um, and some people would say, I'm going to school because of education, uh, because of my love for education, and you know, that's wrong, because education is everywhere, scholarship is everywhere, knowledge is everywhere. It can, it, can, it can make it a habit to go to the library every single morning, eight o'clock to seven o'clock every morning. In years to come, you will realize that you will have been better in that scholarship than even a lot of professors out there in, in the university. And uh, so it's not for the sake of knowledge, because if, it, if it's for ear, you know, some people had good grades, you know, and certificate, yet if they couldn't get a good job, they begin to whine and complain about the situation of the country. So if, if it's for, uh, for, for this, the love of education, we should be fulfilled even if we didn't get a good job. <laughs> but I wonder who's gonna be happy about that. So that's it. I, so this, is, this, is, this video isn't a campaign for you know, going to school or not going to school. It's just make sure the decision came from within you. It was an, a, an external force that you know pushed you into university, and you just found yourself in the university the next moment. So you should make a decision. You try to weigh your options. That what should be the next line of action. You know, last year I knew it was money I needed if we were if we were to go to school. Uh, I could have uh, made a decision to write a qualify exam and uh, get to university to get a degree and uh, take a professional course. And after four years, you know, hopefully maybe I get a job or I start a hunt, begin to hunt for a job, things like that. But I would eat along other side, you know, uh, along with other c options that I've had. And I went for the shorter and uh, the less costly, the, the least in terms of cost. It wouldn't cost too much, and within a short span of time, you have your resort. And um, you know, to become a, to to work as a software developer, you don't need any certificate. You know, it, it's not a requirement. Any, in, 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 even if you want to work with Google, it's not a requirement that you have to be certified. You don't need any certificate. It's your skills that they test. And I feel no, there, there isn't going to be any backlash, and I had to settle for it. I remember vividly that I got a new system. I my old one was well, system was bad, and around around February last year, and uh, I started coding. You know, got some free uh, uh, courses. You know, video courses, and at the same time, I was doing research online, things like that. And 
you know, after a year, you know, this this year is a uh, February, or I got a job, and it was in it was in you know coding all along, like throughout the year I was coding. You know, I had some breaks. I, I went to a camp, but I spent uh, literally you know thirty days without coding, without doing anything. So I had some breaks like that. And however, I you know had an interview in around maybe February with a company, uh, and uh, you know eventually I think I made it. I passed the interview and uh, I started working with them, you know. So uh, without a requirement for any certificate, in fact, we never had until this morning. They, they never said anything about how I went to school because that's not a business. What's the uh, after is what value can you can can you have to the company and can you help us solve the problems? So that's it. And um, so I do not know any any course, university course that a person can take uh, and you will begin to make money with it within, uh, you'll be a professional uh, within a year. And, uh, you know, software developers, you know, it's one of, they're, they're one of, they're of the set of, you know, the most expensive, uh, you know, uh, professionals, you know, and all of them, they even make more money than the doctors. And uh, so, even the engineers, other engineers who were are, who are certified. So uh, there isn't a backlash in any way. And you can even work as a software developer as, you know, remotely without having to go to harvest every, every single day. So this is not a campaign anyway, to that you have to quit schooling. But for those who are still planning to write jam, you know why I can so on, and even for parents, uh, you should let uh, you know, your children to make the decisions themselves. You should try to help them, guide them to weigh so many, many of the options they've, 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 they've got. And do you not know, fear about the stigma. What stigma? If you have the, 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 the skill and you make good money, nobody's going to be concerned about you didn't go to school. So what's the essence of school? If it's just money, we, I, I, I have to go seek in school, and I can seek it elsewhere. So uh, just think about it. You make your own decision. Do not let be. Do not let anyone influence you maybe negatively or that you have to do this. So make sure you you sit down and you look at the variety of options around you, and look at what you have and see what you can achieve. And you settle. You s look at your options and you settle for the best that you feel is going to be good for you in the next couple of years, or for the rest of your life. So that's it, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.